good morning today we are going to discuss about the classification of proteins so in the last video we discussed about the amino acid complete classification and its properties so in this video we are going to discuss about the classification of proteins so proteins are mainly classified on the basis of function shape and size physical and chemical properties and nutrition classification so based on function shape and size physical and chemical properties and the nutrition classification so this is the outline of a protein classification that is proteins are classified based on shape and size function solubility and physical properties and the nutrition classification based on the shape and size they are classified into fibrous protein and globular protein that is examples keratin collagen for fibrous protein globular protein examples are myoglobin hemoglobin and the based on the function they are classified into catalytic protein transport protein storage protein contractile protein structural protein defense protein and the regulatory protein example uh, will explain in the next slide then based on the solubility and physical property that is whether it is soluble in water or in which compound it is soluble uh, according to that we are dividing into simple protein simple proteins then conjugated protein and derived protein simple protein examples are albumin globulin glutalin protamines histones prolamines and the conjugated protein glycoprotein lipoprotein nucleoprotein promoprotein phosphoprotein metalloprotein explanation in detail in the next slides then derived protein they are primary and secondary the nutritional classification based on nutritional mainly they are nutritionally rich protein or complete protein incomplete protein and the poor proteins so first classification based on function they are classified into catalytic protein or enzymes that is protein act as enzyme examples are glucokinase dehydrogenase transaminase and the hydrolytic enzymes such as pepsin and trypsin and transport protein mainly involved in the transportation process examples are hemoglobin tra transferrin and albumin hemoglobin transport oxygen transferrin transport iron and the albumin transport fatty acids and bilirubin storage protein that is some protein serves as storage form examples are apoferritin myoglobin mainly apoferritin stores iron in the form of ferritin then myoglobin stores oxygen in muscles contractile protein mainly you know the examples actin and myosin mainly they are have the ability to contract and function the contractile system of skeletal muscles so they are contractile protein structural protein very important this mainly they form the structural framework or the supporting framework of cells to give the uh, biological structure strength or protection examples are collagen elastin and keratin collagen in bone elastin of ligaments keratin of hair and nail so protein present in hair it is keratin and in bone it is collagen a very important question examples for structural protein then defense protein mainly for the defense mechanism examples are antibodies you know immunoglobulins then fibrinogen and thrombin mainly they are the blood clotting proteins then regulatory proteins they are the hormones mainly they regulate the physiological activities example insulin mainly regulate sugar metabolism then growth hormone regulates the growth of cells some protein act as a buffers example hemoglobin is an important buffer inside the rbc then some protein act as an anti vitamin that is the anti vitamin mean against the action of vitamin they mainly a uh, biotin that is avidin is present that is avidin of ro egg white which binds biotin and interfere its the absorption so that is based on the function and based on shape and size they are classified into fibrous protein and globular protein that is based on shape this fibrous protein are needle shape or elongated shape and based on size that is axial ratio length is to width is greater than 10 so that is they are classified into fibrous protein so fibrous protein are needle shaped needle shape and uh, size axial ratio of length is to width ratio is greater than 10 example keratin elastin and collagen then globular protein they are spherical spherical in shape then ratio of length is to width is less than 10 globulin fibrinogen albumin myoglobin etc are the examples for globular protein then based on the physical and solubility they are classified into simple conjugated and derived proteins mainly the simple protein albumin globulin glutalin protamines histone prolamines and scleroprotein and conjugated protein nucleo nucleoprotein glycoprotein chromoprotein phosphoprotein 
lipoprotein and metalloprotein already discussed then derived protein is primary and secondary so simple protein mainly depending upon the solubility solubility and heat coagulability so mainly they are albumin globulin glutalin vitamins prolamins scleroprotein and histone so this is their solubility criteria that is albumin is soluble in water globulin is insoluble in water glutamine is soluble in dilute acid prolamins it is soluble in alcohol vitamins is soluble in water scleroprotein insoluble in water histones are soluble in water so i have to study the examples example for scleroprotein is collagen and elastin this is very important example for scleroprotein in conjugated protein conjugated proteins are composed of some other non protein substances we are calling it as uh, non prost not prosthetic groups example are nucleoprotein glycoprotein promoprotein phosphoprotein lipoprotein and metalloprotein and the examples so glycoproteins are composed with carbohydrate lipoproteins are composed with lipids nucleoprotein protein composed with nucleic acid promoprotein protein plus some colored group promo means colored phosphoprotein protein plus some phosphoric acid or phosphorus metalloprotein protein with metal ions examples glycoprotein some blood group antigens serum protein then lipoprotein you know serum uh, lipoprotein that is hdl ldl nucleoproteins are histones promoproteins are hemoglobin that is colored flavoproteins then phosphoprotein example is casein of milk that is protein present in milk is casein metalloprotein example hemoglobin carbonic anhydrase that is zinc is present xanthin oxidase molybdenum is present ceruloplasmin copper is present pyrrhotin iron is present so they are metallo proteins then derived protein they are primary and secondary derived protein so primary derived proteins mainly actually the uh, proteins undergo hydrolysis forming proteins meta proteins and proteoses peptides peptides and finally into amino acids so this the first two co compounds are primary derivatives and the rest of them is secondary derivatives and here while the formation of proteins and meta proteins peptide bond is not break not break, not broken and here from the proteoses peptides and peptides peptide linkages or peptide bond is break so primary protein are uh, they are formed by the agents such as heat acids or alkali only a slight change in the protein molecule with the and its property without the cleavage of peptide bond that is proteins this is the first product of protein hydrolysis by the action of dilute acids or enzymes and meta proteins are formed by the action of acids alkali on proteins then secondary derived is proteoses peptides and peptide during this hydrolytic cleavage of peptide bond occurs proteoses peptides and peptides are secondary derivatives and gelatin is an example for derived protein so that is the example uh, classification of proteins thank you